shit, I'm gonna have to edit that out. Hold on, we gonna start over. Yo, what's good? It's your boy Frankie Diamonds TV. What's good, yo? Hey, yo, it's my nigga Stringer. So we um, fuck, I'm fucked up, man. You gonna have to do this one. So Benny, Benny, my nigga Benny the Butcher just dropped a new album, um, Burden of Proof, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, I know I sound like real unsure, like I haven't heard. I'm just tired. So um. Burden of Proof, uh, which you, I, I thought the album was dope. Don't get me wrong, because Zelda don't never disappoint. Um, but I can't help but to compare it to Tana Talk 3 and Plugs I Met. And I know I might not be right for that, but me personally, I felt like it ain't Tana Talk 3. It ain't Plugs I Met, but it's dope. I think it's, the, only, it's... Yeah, the only thing that was missing for me is the first time I heard it, I said, yo, I, I like that, but something missing. And then I looked, I listened to it again, and I looked at the track list. I said, that's what's missing. This might have been the first project other than the Big Ghost albums where it was no damage and no alchemist. No, no, no. I think no. that's what I was missing. I was like, because I love like Benny and Uncle Al when they get together or him and White Boy Derringer. That was the only thing missing, like that spooky, iconic sound that they do, the, you know, the loops, no no drums. Uh, uh, hit Boy. This was straight boy. Hip Boy, yeah. Yeah, and Hit Boy's top five this shit. Don't get me wrong, the production is... Shit, but I was that was the only thing that was missing, like the ingredient that would have made it a, to me. That would have made it a fucking that would have took it over the top. This should sound like an early two thousand. Like this sound like a Rockefeller album, like freeway, and shit is, freeway. It's, beat. Yeah, it's it sound like a freeway, like you know, Hip Boy. Like he reminded me of Just Blaze a little bit. Yeah, like, he might be the new, like the new Just Blaze for these new niggas. Like that's, that's how it's looking like. But this album. This shit was fire. I ain't gonna hold you. He from Cali making all these joints. It's like, you know, only thing, like I say, it was just the, the, the missing production of Derringer and Alchemist. Like, I just needed at least one track. You know, it's like, imagine listening yeah. to a Dipset record, a Dipset album with no heat makers. Yeah, no, right? Like, G-Unit, no high tech, no, you know what I mean? It's just certain rappers go together with certain producers, like, you know, like a fucking sandwich. And uh, yeah. <laughs> I can see, I can tell, because Benny is like, if I was comparing them to the locks, Benny is like the Jada Kiss of the crew. He's like the popular one. Yeah. I think Conway is a little too deep for certain people to get into. And I think Wes is too un uh, unorthodox, you know, in the voice. Yeah, he, he. So it's like, Benny's the one nigga that even the casual fan be like, yo, I, I like that one right there. And uh, it's like, to me, it seemed like he's trying to broaden out of that typical Gazelda uh, sound a little bit. And you see it with features like Lil Wayne, Big Sean, uh, who the fuck else he had on there? Queen Naja, I think she a, a YouTuber, like who said yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like he was he was going for that, you know. I and mean? I ain't gonna knock him. I'm not one of these miserable niggas that be like, yo, so and so sold out. He went mainstream. That nigga getting more money. Be happy for the. <laughs> How many fucking I, around one? You know what I mean? I don't think he on a label yet neither. This shit was straight Griselda Empire <laughs> distribution, like. Yeah, that's why I wore this shirt because Def Jam that's fucked him. in. They fucked up the bag. They could have signed that nigga. I think E1 passed up on him. Like, that Def, nigga's like. Def Jam been behind 10 years behind in the last fucking. Def Jam used to be ahead of the curve. Now them niggas is behind. Like, them niggas playing catch up, bro. Them niggas don't understand. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to get into it. So you got the track list with you. What you, uh. How many tracks was on this again? Like, it was 12. 12. 12, 12 tracks. Uh, 12 so... tracks. All produced by Hip Boy. Not that many features is good because I hate when like niggas be having mad features or shit like this. Rick Ross, <coughs> Pat Joe, <laughs> a couple niggas, but I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Rick Ross is on the second. Well, let's start with the intro. Yeah, he was, the that's, that's another thing. Benny got Rick Ross on the album, so I mean, yeah. he trying to he trying to broaden it. I don't blame him, yeah. you know, but I can see what he was trying to do. Yeah, I, I saw what he's trying to do. You know, it makes sense. There was a lot of money put behind this album. Like, I mean, it, it, it's, it's a good album. Independent. A, yeah. And there was a lot of money. Yeah. The joint with Ross, that was, um, what was the name of that joint? It was Where Would I Go? Yeah, that was that was a cool joint. Um, I thought, I was just listening to the, the fucking War Paint joint with him and uh, Wes and them and Con, nigga. Yo, Conway went off. That nigga. Oh, he went off. Yeah, Con went off. He got busy on that shit. Like, yeah. I think he probably had like one of the, like he had the best feature verse out of everybody on the album, him then Gibbs, but like Conway Death went off. Conway went off, and then West with the hook, you know, shower and flip flops, nigga. Like West just 
that nigga do the shit so effortless, bro. That shit so catchy, and the beat is stupid. And then you had um, is that was that mad rapper at the end of the fucking beat? Am I tripping? Was that mad rapper talking shit? I, yeah, I think so. It yeah, sounded like um, rapper, yeah, that was the mad rapper, you know, doing his trolling and shit. That was that was like vintage. Uh, you know, I don't expect new niggas to understand that. That was like, yeah, they don't. Yeah, vintage grimy shit, but. Uh, Legend was a dope track to go out on, mm-hmm. and um, but that other joint I feel was the joint with Queen. Um, what's the girl's name? Queen Naja. Thank God I made it. Yeah, that mm-hmm. shit was that shit was fire. I, I thought he was like getting on some personal levels with that. And mm-hmm. then um, time thing. What up? The joint with Freddie. <sighs> that shit. Freddie gives went off. Those niggas just said, do an album like niggas said. Bitches get fucked and sent home early like the Clippers. I'm like, all right, this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that shows you how recent that shit was. Yep. This got put out, what, a month ago, nigga? Mm-hmm. Like, them niggas, like, and Freddie, give Freddie credit. He didn't take no slabs at Jeezy. You know yeah, I mean? for once. Yeah, he, he kept for it. Once. He, he let Jeezy off the hook for, for, you know, for one verse. Um, What, what about that joint with Dom Kennedy? That, that feature threw me off. I, I, I don't know if you fuck with Dom. I like Dom, some of Dom shit, but I didn't. I wouldn't picture Dom I mean, any kicking it like that, let alone rapping together. That was kind of work. But like that's the hip awesome. boys, man. You know the L.A. shit. Yeah, man. I was like, from, he's from Cali. Yeah, so like, I mean, Dom Kennedy is cool. He he got his own, yeah. you know. And he didn't try to rap with Benny either. He knew his place. He's like, yo, yeah. I'm gonna hook my nigga. I'm gonna roll up. <laughs> I mean, they in the studio. Probably did he's that smart building. Yeah, he was smart because a lot of niggas know it. You can't. You'll get smoked. Like even on Benny's worst day. Now, some niggas are saying that Wayne smoked Benny on the um Tomlin. I mean, I was kind of like, "Yo, come on, fam!" Like, I mean, if you're gonna get like smoked on your own album, like Lil Wayne would be the you know yeah. the person, you know. The the feature like, came, but I mean, I guess the New York in me, I'm like, "Yo, man, you can't let this nigga." Can't man, like, I know, right? Man, like, no disrespect to Wayne, but I'm like, nah, man. Like, and Big Sean, I'm sorry, but that shit wasn't necessary. I didn't even remember shit Big Sean said. Am I tripping? I just remember he was taking shots at Kanye on that shit. Cause you know Kanye owe that nigga money. Yeah, yeah. So he he sent his little shot. And you had a whole fucking album for that, like 25 tracks. Not nah, because uh, I don't even think he wanted it to be known, but Charlemagne put that nigga business out there. On the radio, said, "Yo, he said Kanye owe oh, that nigga three million dollars. Like, damn, nigga, like, Char- ain't nobody would have knew. Yeah, Charlemagne, you know, fucking bitch. Like, he's like, you just gossip like a bitch. So you put the you put the business out there. Charlemagne Harris. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yo, man. <laughs> well, what else? What other tracks was on this joint?" Um, Sly Green Fire. Oh, that's on New Streets, track seven. That real soulful shit. That yeah, was his Benny. Yeah, just just him. They played it right after Timeless. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I remember that joint. I remember that. That was that was dope. Hit Boy, like I said, Hit Boy was on his shit. Like I said, it just was that. I was just like, damn, no, no Alchemist, no Derringer, but you know, I get what Benny trying to do as far as like you know switching up his style and shit. I guess and. It's still Griselda shit, but it wasn't. I asked you one question. I asked my homeboy. He like a casual fan, and he was like, "Yo, I like that mini album." I said, "What you think? You think it was better than Khan?" He was like, "He's like, yo, that nigga on some Nas nice shit right now. Conway is on some some other shit right now." I said, "Bro, I think that's just me. I think Khan separated himself from Benny a little bit this year." Yeah, I mean, you know, I think on this album, Benny was focused on making songs. Yeah. Opposed to just, you know, just rapping. Mm-hmm. So that's just, you know, that's that's something that you got to take account for. Because, like, you know, he tried to level up. Yeah. Like, like to be on that main stage, to be able to, like, win a Grammy and to just oh, get yeah. more of that shit. You, you got to do that, you know? To that level. But, but you know, like, the Grammy don't understand shit like this. No, so, you know, he'll probably, he ain't going, yeah. he not going to get nominated or nothing. Like, he can't even get a BET Hip Hop Award nomination. So that's a reach. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, no, it's a cool record. I didn't think it was. Do you think it's better than Pray for Paris? Damn, man. No, I, I don't even know. I, I don't think it's better from King to a God. That's just me personally. I think Conway's is. I think Con just separated himself. Like a year ago, this time, niggas was like, nah, Benny, Benny. You couldn't get too many niggas to say Con. 
I think now Conway is, is into that conversation where he's convinced a lot of niggas who probably a year ago was like, nah, they need the best. I think Conway. Nah. Yeah, Conway. Conway is the one that got the like the bars and the punchlines. Yeah. Like he's like the you style. Know. He got the heart and soul to the shit. Like not yeah. just on you know I ain't shitting on Benny on on the album review. I'm just saying like Benny's a dude that's gonna be on like a popular album. Like you know, if, yeah. I know Drake is working on some shit. Like he'll probably call up Benny for that shit. But like they I don't think have a record for the longest. I'm like, where the fuck is it at? Yeah. I thought we would have probably got it on this record, but I guess Drake, you know, Drake, he a fucking, uh, he a student of the game. He gonna save that for his album, watch. And that'll be a good look for Benny, because you know, a lot of these niggas who don't, you know, know him and be like, yo, who the fuck is that? You know, who just, he better not let Drake get him on it, on that, on the feature, though. He won't. Yeah, yeah, you can't won't. split that opportunity. You gotta kill that nigga. But then again, Drake been trying to prove that he's a, you know, like a real rapper since, you know, you know, so whatever happened in the past, that like, he been trying to prove that he really about that shit. If I but he not gonna let like Kanye, like everybody know Kanye not no real rapper. So like, of yeah, course Kanye gets great. bodied on every like, yeah. So like, that's cool for that. But like, I, I, was, you, I wish I would feel that way. I've been killing it for ten years, and I gotta prove to you niggas that I, I can rap. Like, think that, look how crazy that sounds. I mean, you know, yeah, there's know. niggas out there that believe that he's more of a pop star than a rapper. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you know, I fuck with Pusha T and all that shit too. But I mean, like, you know, we can't rap better than that. But I don't know. When niggas reach that legacy level, I don't feel like what the fuck you got to prove. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we'll see that. But like I said, I get an album. Um, I give a seven out of ten. I'm gonna give that shit a nine out of ten. Like a nine? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> nine out of ten, man. Nine. Hey. Like, like I said before, Hip Boy is like the new Just Blaze. Like, yeah, yeah. So like, listening to that was kind of like listening to like a full Jadakiss Just Blaze album, like something yeah. like that. So yeah, I get that shit nine out of ten. That I shit was fire. Than a, a typical Jadakiss album though, but yeah, I think this is uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was fire though. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I, I think I might be getting a little spoiled by Griselda a little bit, but I'm starting to maybe I'm starting to underappreciate the shit a little bit, maybe. Yeah, I think they should lay low for the rest of the year. They honestly. not. Them niggas don't let off the gas. I'm like, I'm still trying to. I'm still knocking West album from what two weeks ago. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Like that was September. I'm like, yo, these niggas. And then Khan gonna drop. Um, God don't make mistakes. You talking about dropping that before Christmas? I'm like, yo, these niggas won't let up. Nah, so, my nah. guys, it ain't even been a year yet since he dropped. Um. Hermes Seven. Yeah, he yeah, dropped that shit last up. November. It ain't been a year yet. And then they I'm still fucking with that album. Yeah, and they just did the first the D two. They just did the uh, what was she gonna do? Like right after that, like fucking yeah. These niggas, even if you don't like them, like these niggas' work ethic is unmatchable. That's why I be laughing. Yeah, I be like Lloyd Banks is one of my favorites. Like niggas used to call me that in school and shit. But Banks lazy as fuck. Like a lot of niggas is just lazy, bro. <laughs> like bro. These niggas, a lot of these niggas, they dropped the bag. Like, Joel Santana, like, he he was supposed to be that yeah. nigga. And what the fuck he been at since he came home? Like, I get it. You got to catch up with the fam. It's been a minute. But, yo, you've been home for mute. much. You know what I mean? I felt like Banks and Joel was supposed to, you know, they fumbled the ball at the, one, at the goal line. Like, 50 yep. a Said here, hand, you know, and them niggas didn't. They, they was supposed to be what Lil Wayne was supposed to be, you know, potentially, and they just. But you know who benefited from that? That nigga Jim Jones, because Jim Jones was killing like last mm-hmm. year, like for the last two years. Jim Jones gave us like oh, some yeah. potentially classic I'll, albums. I'll even go as far. Niggas might say I'm crazy, but I don't think it's absurd to compare Jimmy's catalog to Cam's all time. When you listen to some of like Jimmy been putting out, I, I I definitely think he got a better catalog. Um, not mixtapes, but just albums. I think he got better albums than Jewel's. Yeah, that's definitely. And I think you it, you ain't too far off from Cam if we being for yeah. real. Like Cam's first three four albums was fire, and then after that, Cookies and Apple Juice and all that shit. <laughs> but Jimmy been. Jimmy age better. Yeah, age better. And wasted that wasted time. Fire. The other joint was fire. Like El Capo. <laughs> Yeah, niggas laugh at Jimmy, but Jimmy Jim Jones is, is is that nigga. Not that this is about Jim Jones, but you know. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, but yeah, I, I that album was fire. Like I said, Benny, 
Um, these niggas never disappoint. They they keep doing it once again, all the time, and um, it is what it is. So I give it seven out of ten. I've, I've had to listen to it again. You said nine out of ten. Yeah, nine out of ten. I listened to it this morning too, all weekend. It's so serious. what the fuck you gave pray for Paris in? It, you gave this nine out of ten. I think I gave pray for Paris the same thing. Nine out of ten. Okay. I get it. What nine out of t- get a ten out of ten. Damn. I don't know. I think like. The last album I probably would give like a ten out of ten to that came out like that was like two years ago. I was like, I think Daytona would deserve a ten out of ten. Like Push T. Yeah. I mean oh, Push T is my favorite rapper, so yeah, I'm a little biased, but yeah. fuck you. I thought you was gonna say that four four four. Oh yeah, that's the ten. That was like the best ten album of the ten. last decade. Yeah. Damn oh, come now. Nah. Nah. Really? Niggas are saying. Niggas are saying that fucking Kanye album, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, is but yeah. like I, I take points off when you get body on your own shit. Like you can't let a rookie Nicki Minaj body you on yeah. your album. That's well, you know, I take points like off. Born ready to die. He felt like meth meth killed him on uh, the what? I know, but meth was already seasoned though. Yeah, meth was seasoned. And me personally, I was like, I thought Biggie was tripping. Meth was meth had the better delivery, but I think Biggie made up for it on that last verse when that nigga said, uh, "Excuse me, flows just grow through me like trees, the branches, cliffs, the avalanches." I was like, yeah, nigga, yeah. you being nice, like you didn't get smoked, like that. That was right, right. there. Yeah, I know. Like same thing with Brooklyn's finest. Like you know, some people think Biggie got it, some people think Jay got it. But you yeah, know. No, no, no. I, I thought I thought Biggie got him on that one. That's just me. Oh, I, I think Biggie got him on both tracks. You think? You think Jay got him? Nah, Jay got him on. Jay got oh, um man. Biggie on both tracks. The what? only track that they did together that um Big did was um fucking um that song on Diddy's album. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember the No Way Out album. That, um, yeah, that's the only time when Biggie got Jay. <laughs> Man, old oh, Faith had twins. She only had two. She would only have two pots. Like Big was on his shit, nigga. Yeah, like, Big was on his shit, but like you know, like yeah, I got vendettas and dice games against ass betters. Yeah. Like, like. So I'm from. Uh, he said. Uh, he said. Um, I'm varsity. What do you say? What was the line? The varsity Marcy uh, line. Jay said. I yeah. Right now, I'm varsity chumpy JV. Hey, Jay, they was that's that's just a whole nother level, like a whole nother era, but when niggas was just real clever, you had to really impress motherfuckers back then. And now the shit is watered down and any old thing. Yeah. Niggas gassing up in some of these punchlines, I'd be like, what? Like, I don't know. I, I, I posted some shit today. Niggas was like, yo, niggas down south could name more Lil Boosie songs than Biggie, Nas, and Jay-Z combined. I'm like, yo, that's pretty fucking sad, man. I, I know, that is sad, but you know. But you know, down south they always support one another. That's why, cause like you know, I feel like East Coast rappers like you need a white fan base to get like yeah. But like <laughs> down south, like I know that like I know damn well um down south niggas like was fucking with Master Pena cause white people is not fucking with C Murder and that nigga went platinum. C yeah. Murder went Fiend went platinum like all them niggas like went platinum. I went platinum, nigga. Like I know that them I know white people was not fucking with that. No limit movement. So that's how I know that down south niggas support each other. Yeah. And out here they don't. Nah, like, you need a white that. fan base to be able to go platinum around here. Like, yeah. like the it's last sad, but it's true. Went platinum had a white had a big fan base. Fifty and Nicki Minaj, really. He's not Drake. Big, Drake ain't from New York though. I mean, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, oh. like New York artists. Like, if it wasn't for Fifty and Nicki, niggas would be on like a twenty year drought. Yup. Really, like I say, and speaking of fifth, like before we get out of here, were you devastated and disappointed like the rest of these niggas when when he said he was voting for Trump? <laughs> Bro, that nigga, yo, honestly, I don't even think that nigga's registered to vote. So if you want to believe that, shit, that's what I was, yo, I was just like, like, bro, if y'all niggas really believe that Fifty Cent is registered to vote, yeah. then y'all niggas might be dumber than you know <laughs> than Cardi B fans, like. Yo, I'm like, yo, nigga, I'm like, I was telling, I was like, yo, the nigga trolls, like, half the time everything comes out of his mouth yeah. is just jokes. I'm like, bro, and even if it was, I'm like, yo, I, I, I don't really give a fuck. Like, I just and think- someone tell Plaza, stop talking politics, please. Oh, like, man. That nigga, yo. Okay, <laughs> it be niggas that, like, you know, registered to vote, but yeah. they talking, like. Because if only 20% of the NBA is registered to vote, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, 20% of the all-hip-hop community was registered to vote. Half of these niggas got records. Half of these niggas on child support. 
I, I doubt it if these niggas is registered to vote because, like, when you got money, you know, give a fuck. Exactly. So, yeah, um, but that was, uh, we got off topic like a motherfucker, but I don't give a shit. We're right. Yo, your burden of proof, check the album out. Uh, I'm going to go back and listen to it again. You gave it a 9 out of 10. Uh, first reaction, I gave it a 7 out of 10. I'll go back and check it out again, man. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section. Follow us on uh, 